what is up and welcome back to my channel for a speed build so today's build is a two bedroom one bath house i know right i did something a little bit different because i noticed that i tend to gravitate towards building houses that are kind of big for families i don't think i've built anything and shared it to the gallery or you know youtube that has been less than three bedrooms and i tried to sneak in three bedrooms with this one but i'm so glad that i deleted one and i just made it two bedroom i love this house i think it turned out nice i named it daisy cottage because um as you'll see it's kind of yellow and i put some daisies out front real creative right <laughs> um but anyways yeah i think this house turned out really really cute i think it looks very homey um on the inside it's just it's small but it's spacious you know i don't like those claustrophobic little small sim homes because i'm claustrophobic in person and when my sims are struggling to talk to each other and they have to go outside to hug that's a problem the house is way too small so this house is two bedroom small but it's still spacious you can it's still functional uh -huh. and for it being a small two bedroom house it's kind of expensive <laughs> sorry it's like sixty three thousand dollars oh my god <laughs> but anyways yeah it is available for download on the gallery i just imagine like a mom and a dad living here they they only have one child and it's a little boy and as you'll see in his room he loves pets he has a hamster you know it was like a big dog or even like one or two dogs lives in the house with them his room you can tell he's just obsessed with animals and he wants to be a vet oh, i just i love this house i think it's just so just cozy and and I don't know, like I, I can't really explain the family I imagine living here very well, but usually when I start build houses, they, it kind of takes a little bit for me to start eh, feeling it, but then once I get inside and start decorating it and seeing like the character and seeing it come to life, I can imagine the family. And I just think this would be a really fun house to play in, and I really want to play in it now. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, okay, this is what we're going to start doing because I hate doing voiceovers with everything in me. I just feel like I butcher them because I ramble. And ever since I did the Bel Air Townhouse where I answered some questions that the Simpanions uh, tagged me in that was a lot of fun and it helped me not ramble so I hope you guys don't mind this because I love to listen to people answer like Q&A's or like questions and like question tags you know like get to know me stuff or TMI tags just because I like to get to know people I like to hear them elaborate off something and tell a story to see if we have anything common or you know stuff like that I just think it's fun to get to know people so I hope you guys don't mind that probably for a couple of my speed builds until um I think of something else because I just can't I don't know what I mean talking I, ugh, I can't do it because I can't talk worth the crap, y'all. I stumble over my words, and it's a hot daggone mess here on my channel. But anyways, I have a few questions I found that I'm going to answer. There's quite a few, so I definitely will not answer them here. In this one video, we will just, you know, pick them up in the next video. But yeah, I think this will be a little bit fun. Hope you guys don't mind. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first question is, what are you wearing? Um, I am wearing sweatpants, <laughs> a t-shirt, like a big old t-shirt, and I'm not wearing a bra, I'm sorry, TMI, this is the TMI tag, but y'all, just a little fun fact, I don't, I hate bras, I hate bras, I hate them, first thing I do when I get home is take mine off, and it feels so good to let your girls free, <laughs> oh my god, TMI, sorry, but for real, I mean, that's just being honest, that's all I'm wearing right now, I, I'm, I'm laying in bed, literally laying in bed. And also, by the way, these questions, some of these I will elaborate on and I will have like a story time for it. So I'm just warning you <laughs> if this is a little bit slow. But anyways, the second question is, ever been in love? Yes, I am in love somehow, still, after six years with my boyfriend. Y'all, we've been through hell and bad. This boy drives me crazy, but like in the best way. And so, yeah. I am in love. <laughs> uh, the next question is, ever had a terrible breakup? This is one of those that I want to tell a story with, so I hope y'all don't mind. I would say, I've had two terrible breakups in my life that I want to address with y'all. The first one was my high school I guess not really sweetheart. We really didn't date. We dated maybe a year, but it's just I was so in love with this guy, and I mean. 
it was just like that innocent love. Like, he was just perfect in my eyes, you know? And, like, looking back now, after I tell this story, like, he's a freaking prick. <laughs> like, he's not all that. But at the time, I was, like, smitten. So, let me go ahead and tell y'all about this breakup because I'm going to expose some boys right now. Some douchebags, okay? So, let's talk about it. And no hard feelings because, you know... We did rekindle our friendship, and that just made it worse. I fell for him even harder, but, you know, he's still, like, a good guy, and, like, he's, 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 eh, eh, but, <laughs> no hard feelings, kind of hard feelings, but anyways, let's get into the little story here. Alright, so me and this guy met my freshman year of high school, and he was a sophomore in high school, and so, I was just, you know, we just hit it off. He was very cute, and we just started dating. Let's just say that we just started dating, right? Well... I thought he was, like, perfect, could do no wrong. My parents loved him. He he just treated me so well. Like, he treated me really, really good, you know, at, at first. Well, then, we, okay, let's, let's say, oh, he was also, like, best friends with one of my really good friends, and that's kind of how we met. All right, so, okay, just keep that in mind. Okay, so, I guess you would say a few months into us dating, maybe about four, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe about four months, um, okay, I rode the bus, <laughs> and he drove, so he drove to school, and I would always, like, meet him when I got off the bus, you know, and we would, like, talk before class. Well, one day, one day, I freaking, like, walked up, and there he was, standing there waiting on me with my friend, and her look on her face, she just looked like, she just felt so bad for me. And then he was like, uh, hey, you just wanna walk to my locker? And just the way he was acting, I kinda knew what was coming, I I was, like, panicking on the inside, like, what the hell did I do? What, why did I deserve, like, this can't be happening, is this, this is not about to happen? So, anyways, we get to his locker, and, like, he looks at me like he's about to throw up, you know, like, when you, you know you're about to freaking crush somebody's heart. Well, he just, he broke up with me, I don't even remember what he said, but, you know, he did it. What a douchebag, like, he couldn't wait until after school, I mean, it was I just got off the bus, so I had to go all freaking day in my classes, try not to cry, right? Try not to cry. So anyways, yeah, I was pissed about that. Well, not even a few weeks later, like maybe a week or two later, he was like, oh, I made a mistake, and of course me, I'm like, hey, okay, yay, and so we got back together, and we dated for probably a, like almost a year until he started like hanging out with these kids that, you know, he was like a really good guy. He was in church and everything. He was really good. And, um, anyways, he started hanging out with these people, and, like, he was, like, drinking. You know, he was getting at that stage, like, in high school where you, like, start to rebel, and he was getting into that stage, you know? And he was becoming, like, a little bit more popular, and it was, like, really, like, affecting him and his personality. Well, okay, Valentine's Day. Sorry, y'all, this is, like, a story. This whole voiceover is gonna be me talking about my breakup and how a boy crushed my heart. But let me tell y'all, anyways, I think it's a good one. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Valentine's Day, I had this little banquet at my church where, you know, I was, like, acting in it and dancing and stuff and, like, serving the food to, like, you know, yeah, it was, like, a Valentine's banquet, right? So, I invited him. He came with my parents. He, like, brought me flowers, and I was like, oh, how sweet. Well, then, like, after the banquet, you know, I didn't really get to spend Valentine's Day with him, you know, because... I was there all night, and I didn't get to, like, talk to him because I was busy. I was thinking that maybe he would, like, come to my house, or we would go, you know, do something, like the movie or something on Valentine's Day. Well, he told me he was going to hang out with his friends, okay? His friends. And so, I was like, whatever. So, I was pissed about it. Well, then, I, I was really upset about it, honestly. And so, I called my friend, that is his friend, remember? And she was like, you know what, Krista, I've, I've been holding this from back from you and keeping this from you, and I just, I can't do it anymore because you know, he just ditched you for on, on Valentine's Day to hang out with, not his buddies, but, like, girls that I knew liked him, which is really why I was so upset. And she was like, I just, I wanted, I want to be honest with you because you deserve better. And so, I'm, I'm, my blood is boiling at this point because I got anger issues, y'all. I go freaking nuts. I will, I will hurt somebody. So, I'm already mad. I don't even know what she's about to say. Well, what she tells me, she proceeds to tell me that when he broke up with me, you know, almost a year ago, like, we've been dating a while, like almost a year, so a couple months ago, when he broke up with you, you know, I just want to let you know that he broke up with you today, we'll call her Claire, Claire, 
Claire is this girl that I could not stand. Like, I'm not into drama. I did not dislike a lot of people. I've never disliked a lot of people in my life. But this one girl, she was the devil. She was a thought. She stole everybody's boyfriend. She, you know those girls that have ten different best friends, like, every other day? That just tells you they are a terrible person. And they can't keep a friend because they don't know how to treat their friends. Like, they, she was just a terrible person, okay? And, like, granted, she was very, very pretty. Like, she still is. She's beautiful. And that's, uh, like, oh, I'm not jealous, but, like, you know, it's just, it's stupid. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So, they was on, like, cross country together. And so, anyways, she liked him, told him, oh, I like you. So, he broke up with me to date her. She found out that he broke up with me and said, never mind, I don't want you. So, then he came back to me. Basically, that's what she told me. Your girl went nuts. I threw them flowers, broke the vase in my room. I slung crap around. I called him. And when I called him, a girl answered. Not the same girl, but another girl. And I was like, oh, hell no. Oh, my God. No, this is not happening. <laughs> so I went nuts. So, anyways, I broke up with him because I was like, you know what? I deserve better. I'm proud of myself. I stood my ground because... I had been putting up with a lot, you know, I said he was, like, changing, like, he was starting to treat me kind of bad, and, like, ditching me, and just not stuff that a girl should put up with, honestly, and kind of pressuring me at this time to, like, go further sexually, and, like, a relate, stuff that I didn't really want to do at the time, just, like, stuff that I was compromising, you know, yeah, I was just, you know, uh. <laughs> so I was proud of myself for ending that relationship, but anyways, it still broke my heart, because I thought he was, like, the world, and it just, it hurt. It really did. So, I think that was, like, my first terrible breakup. But to make that breakup even worse, um, we didn't talk for, like, a, probably a whole year. A whole, yeah, his junior year, my sophomore year. We didn't even talk. Like, I couldn't, not that I couldn't stand him, but we just didn't talk after that breakup. Who who hangs out after a breakup, you know? Um, but anyways, he finally got back to him old self, and he was, like, a really great guy again. And I was starting to, like, see that, and I was like, oh, man, like, why couldn't he be like that, you know, later on in our relationship? Well, then, his senior year and my junior year, we had a class together, and we just had, like, this really good friendship. We just kind of, we sat by each other, and it was the only one we knew in the class, and we started talking again and started hanging out again, and it was nothing, like, boyfriend girlfriend is Like, there was really no flirting, but, you know, he was just being a really good friend to me at the time, and he was... You know, we, we've always had a good relationship, a good friendship, even in our relationship. We laughed, we had fun, we hung out, and I started to miss him, but I started to, like, fall for him again, and it was so stupid, <laughs> but I really did. I didn't tell him that. I didn't tell anybody, but, like, in my heart, I was like, man, this guy, oh, my God, like, he's, he's my, he's my, tr he's my soulmate. Like, I just feel it. <laughs> <laughs> not true. Anyways, he ended up leaving and going hours away for college, and it broke my heart, and I felt like I was broken up with all over again, but we wasn't dating, but that was, like, a terrible breakup that I went through, and, like, for even, like, months after, I would just think about him and cry, because I felt like he had gotten away. <laughs> oh my god, how pathetic. Anyways, and then another terrible breakup is the boyfriend I'm with now, We've been together for six years, but we did break up for, like, a year that we wasn't together. Um, but, you know, we grew up, fixed our issues, and we came back together, and it's been, you know, it's been good ever since. But that was a terrible breakup, too, like, a devastating breakup, because my love for him is a whole different, more mature, and, you know, real love compared to, you know, the, the, the high school, you know, kid love, you know. So, yeah, wow, this whole voiceover's pretty much been me talking about my uh, ex-boyfriend. So, sorry, <laughs> moving on. Um, number four, how tall are you? I'm pretty short. I'm 5'2", which sucks. I don't like being so short. I wish I was kind of like 5'5", five, five, maybe 5'6". Five, Not like too tall, but like maybe 5'5", five, five, I guess you would say. Because when you're 5'2", like me, and you gain 5 pounds, it looks like you gain freaking 10 and I just, you can tell when I gain weight, and I hate being so short. I hate it. <laughs> uh, how much do you weigh? Oh, we're not talking about that. Next question. Any tattoos? Yes, I have two tattoos. I have one on my rib cage. I got it my freshman year of college. It is, um, like I said, on my rib cage, and it kind of like curves up. 
um, I'll insert a picture actually. I'll do that. I'll insert a picture. <laughs> and it says heart of a lion. Um, I am a, like a Leo. That's my sign. And I've always loved lions. They're my favorite animals. And because I've dealt with anxiety um, and like anger and just a lot of like insecurities in my life, just like depression and anxiety and stuff. Um, I've always loved the saying heart of a lion because it was everything I aspired to be, you know, brave and strong. So, you know, my freshman year of high school was when I actually went through the breakup with my second boyfriend, which is my boyfriend now, <laughs> which was kind of like a really hard time for me. Um, that, that motivated me to get that tattoo and it really means a lot to me. And then I have a tattoo on my wrist um, and I will insert this one too. And it is symbols for symbols, and it said, well, it doesn't say anything, it's symbols, but it means, um, there is hope, should waters rise and mountains fall, he never fails. Um, this is just a pretty positive reminder, you know, because I'm, I'm I love the Lord, I'm a Christian, you know, <laughs> and, um, you know, when life gets hard, you know, looking down at this hand, it just reminds me of uh, who upholds me in his, you know, it's just a, a good reminder, and, yeah, I don't think I'll ever get any more tattoos, um, because I want something on my body that's going to be meaningful to me, not necessarily for everybody else to see. So, yeah, I don't think I would have any more. But I do like the two I have. <laughs> any piercings? Just my ears. Just my ears. Um, OTP. The OTP is still Chuck and Blair from Gossip Girl forever. <laughs> um, favorite show? Um, I'm a Netflix junkie. I watch a lot of shows. Um... Right now, I'm watching Shameless. Love Shameless. I love The Walking Dead. Uh, I love The 100. I don't have a favorite show. Honestly, I, I, I watch so many that I say, oh, this is my favorite show. It's the best. But then I find another one and I get attached to it. You know how that is? It's a problem. <laughs> but anyways, guys, this video is actually about to wrap up. I, I hope y'all don't mind me answering these questions and um, elaborating, giving you kind of a story time. Sorry, this one was about my boyfriend and my love life and... I just felt like venting to y'all about, you know, the past. <laughs> Anyways, guys, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and this, um, this build. It is available for download on the gallery. So, if you want to download it, all that information is down below. Hope y'all had a great week. Hope y'all have had a great weekend. And I will see y'all later. said some awful words and i know that we both got hurt but i want to be with you i want to be with you we can't let this slip away you know that i want you to stay cause i want to be with you i want to be with you don't run away we can't let this go to waste i don't want nobody else don't let this go to waste Yeah.